Dunbrand.com, a selection of over 50,000 firearms, gear, and accessories, unmatched low costs, and unrivaled customer service. Check us out. What's up, guys? I wanted to jump on here tonight to talk with you all about a video that comes to us from Black Metal Firearms. And this particular video is quite shocking. I know that there are a few channels that have picked up on this now. And what it shows is an ATF agent literally taking photos with her cell phone of the logbook of the gun store. Now, for those of you all who do not know, the logbook kept by an FFL contains all of the information related to a firearm. It contains the information as far as which vendor or which wholesaler the firearm was purchased from. Uh, it contains the serial number of the firearm all the way through to the personal information of the person who purchased that firearm. Now, under federal law, uh, it is a the ATF is not supposed to have a registry. However, uh, keeping record, taking photos of the records and things like this, like this lady was doing, this ATF agent was doing, is highly questionable. But first of all, let's just take a minute to watch the video, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Here she is, taking photocopies of every page of my A&D book with all of my customer data on it, with her personal cell phone. Now, that's quite interesting, uh, considering the fact that this woman was taking photos of personal information uh, that is literally being uh, taken with an app on her phone. And uh, as we all know, a lot of these apps and things like that are very easily broken into. You know, they don't have a lot of security depending on what app it is. And this could be a huge data breach of personal information for all of the folks who purchased firearms through this dealer. And this just goes to show you just how out of control the ATF is in many instances, in my opinion. If uh, you guys remember a previous video that I did where I talked about the ATF visiting uh, a homeowner or a gun owner at his home, literally knocking on the door and asking to see the a couple of firearms that the individual had purchased now that just goes to show you some of the things that we are seeing uh, as far as the ATF as far as what they're doing now I'm going to read for you just a little bit of an article from USA Today and there was a fact check uh, what they basically were doing was trying to fact check a claim about the ATF maintaining a registry, which the ATF it say, itself has said that it does. That it includes, according to the article, breaking ATF gun registry includes almost 1 billion firearms records. And according to the technicalities of the law, the ATF isn't supposed to maintain a searchable database, but you know, guys, you know as well as I do, it is not very hard to search through documents with modern technology these days. I mean, they can find this stuff out pretty quick, just like the individual that purchased a couple of firearms uh, just at one visit. You know, uh, you know, they knew they had that data. Uh, you can say what you want about the sheet as far as they filled out. Yes, it's true, but at the same time, they also knew about other firearms that he had. They knew that this individual was even stopped by law enforcement while in possession of one of his firearms. So that's something that is known. Uh, just a quick rundown of the facts according to USA Today. Let me just read these to you. So the ATF records from federally licensed firearms dealers, manufacturers, and importers that go out of business. Uh, the records include information about gun sales and transfers. That is one of the things that the ATF does maintain. If a gun dealer goes out of business, they are to send all of their records to the ATF. Now, they're not supposed to maintain a searchable registry, but again, guys, like I previously said, you know, the records are stored as digital images. And as we all know, with the way technology is these days, 
with a lot of the scan tools and things like that, even if you photograph something and keep it as a digital image, there are apps out there that can easily search numbers, letters, and things like that within a digital image and convert it to a text file. I mean, you can download those apps on your phone pretty easily. And, you know, they're, they're keeping these records as digital images, saying that they do not maintain a registry. But at the same time, we all know, and it's why, you know, we're all suspicious of the ATF doing these things. You know, the ATF can only access the records if a law enforcement agency asks for help tracing a gun linked to a crime. Now, I want you to answer me this question. Considering the amount of purchases of firearms in this country each year, when law enforcement requests the ATF look up a particular firearm, how do you think they are able to do that so quickly? Uh, I've seen videos on YouTube showing the ATF supposedly going picture by picture looking for a particular firearm, looking for a particular purchaser, that sort of thing. And that would take a ridiculous amount of time, as we all know. I mean, literally going through, you know, just thousands of photos looking for one gun, literally looking for a needle in a haystack. And it is true, you can trace a firearm from the manufacturer through a distributor to a local gun dealer. But at the same time, think about the number of 4473s a gun dealer could have at one time, particularly some of these volume dealers. You know, these ATF agents, you know, that's a lot of data that they're going to have to go through just to find one gun. OK, so that's one of the reasons why I just don't really think that they are being truthful with a lot of the capabilities and things that they can do. And I think that this photo or this video that we have of this agent literally using her cell phone to take photos of the records of this gun store are just egregious. I think that they are just one more example of how out of control it is. I think this is something that our legislatures need to get involved in and shut it down. This is just getting nuts. And I know that there has been a significant number of FFLs who have had their license revoked for trivial things. Uh, you know, and, and it just within the last couple of years, we've seen that happen just within just the last couple of years, you know, just do a simple Google search and it'll show it to you guys. It's just a quick video that I wanted to do. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you have ever had any dealings, if you are an FFL and I know that there are several different firearms license dealers that watch my videos and just let me know. I want to hear from you guys. You know, have you ever had an ATF agent do this to any of your records? You know, let me know down in the comments below. Share your story. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out all the links down in the description, and we'll see you next time.